Hey howdy hey partners, today I'm super excited because we finally have a 2024 Disney Store Woody review. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Here it is, 2024 Woody edition from Disney Store. If you haven't seen how I found this Woody, click the card here in the corner of your screen. It'll take you to my toy hunt of how I found it at Disneyland Park in Anaheim and it was really nice to pick up. We'll get more into the details once I open it up, but for now I wanted to show you the box. I do like to keep these. These are very nice Woody's Roundup style boxes. They haven't really changed the design here since 2019 Toy Story 4 era. I'm not seeing anything different here on the back of the box. It's still part of the interactive talkers line that was introduced in 2019 for the first time but everything else is the same it seems like. Just a heads up, these do go for $34.99. They used to be 30 bucks, but they have increased the price by $5. I have to say I really love this Woody. I think it looks really nice. I love the coloring on the eyes there. They're not too dark brown of a color, but they're also not too light of a color. The cheeks are definitely really rosy on this one and that's why I selected this head sculpt because I plan to keep this Disney Store Woody how it comes. I do not want to modify this one and it's just really nice. Love the design choice that they chose. Everything looks great. Obviously this is not toy mode or going for movie accuracy. So that's okay in that regard. It's still a great Woody. I'm gonna also glue this down the collar with like glue dots or something. That's the only thing I'm probably gonna modify on this cause it just really bothers me that much. The torso, nothing's really changed except for the color of the shirt. And in person, it's a little bit more vibrant orange yellow, but I think it's a little accurate to the movie. Really nice. The vest, unfortunately, hasn't really changed at all. Maybe it's shrunken just a tad, but no, it looks pretty much the same. It's a little bit translucent, so the fabric is a little too thin, so you can see the yellow popping through. And obviously the pull string ring is massive, but I like it nonetheless that it still has the movie accurate open hands. And this takes a while to wear in because it naturally wants to stick up but that's expected with these. And then of course the belt buckle, which I kept talking about because that is a big deal. This belt buckle has improved. The original belt buckle from the Disney store was just really bad, but this one kind of reminds me of something you would see on a Thinkway Toys collection Woody because it has like a 3D print effect on it. It's popping out, it's not 2D. And also just overall, just really nice to look at and pleasant. I just wish that it was a movie aggregate yellow. I do like that they went with the yellow choice here on the holster. That's something I wish they would have repeated for the spurs and the belt buckle color, of course. And obviously in the future, I hope Disney Store makes a swivel like the collection one because that's not hard to do. I don't think it would drive up costs and I think it would look a lot better. Overall, the jeans are super nice. I like the color of the jeans. Nothing has really changed for the design of Woody. He has like real pockets, which is nice. And it does feel like actual denim jeans, although I know it's probably not, feels like very really thin cotton, but it looks really great and I love the color. The boots are very nice, I like the cactus detail. Like I said, I don't like that mustard yellow. I don't think it looks good at all in my opinion. It needs to be a little bit more bright yellow like we saw on the holster detail. But the main event of why I bought this, another reason, is because it has Andy here on the bottom. And that is really cool they brought that back. For a long time, Woody had Bonnie since Toy Story 4. So is this a foreshadow that in Toy Story 5, Andy will return? That's my speculation and I hope that's true. Makes me very happy to see that and I'm very excited to have this on this Disney Store Woody for us to enjoy as collectors and fans of the original Toy Story movies. The hat I really love. It is really nice. There's no holes on the back, so it's movie accurate. I wish it would have had room for us to add our own thread around the rim of the hat, but that's okay. It's pretty lightweight. It's not heavy. It's very flexible and squishy, which is good. So that means it has some give to it. And I don't mind that at all. I think it's really nice. And the colors are really nice. They have a distinction here on the band around there. So it looks a little darker brown there. To an older hat, it's very similar in color, except I like the new brown better. The older one looks a little bit cheap and and like cheaper quality, but this looks premium quality with this color. It looks a lot darker and richer, a little bit more genuine brown and almost looks like a leather hat, but it looks really nice and I'm happy with the improvements for the colors on the hat. Let's look at the comparison of the old Disney Store Woody head here on the right. This is from 2019 Toy Story 4 era with the brand new 2024 Woody from Disney Store. As you can see, vastly improved. The pupils are almost looking straight here. They're looking off to the side more on this one for the old one. And the coloring, he just looks super tan and the colors are just really off on this Woody. 
head over here and they just look so much better over here and the sculpting of the hair is slightly tweaked it's a little bit different and i like it this one had more of a swoop here on the front of his forehead which i didn't like this is a little bit more natural even though the paint apps are a little messy maybe on mine but it looks really great overall the rosy cheeks really stand out here now they didn't really have them on this one because it's just so dark the color and in person it's way more drastic than you see here on screen but that is a huge difference. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below of the differences between the old and the new Woody. And now the moment you're all waiting for, what phrases does he have today I grew up? Anything new? Let's check it out. Okay, gotta get back. How do I get back? Operation Poltoy. Howdy, partner. Gotcha. My name's Woody. You're my favorite deputy. Yeah, okay, all right, okay, that, that, that is enough. What? No, 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 you can't go. There's a snake in my boot! Yee-haw, cowboy! What are you doing out here? Oh, 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 no, we can't stay. Okay, gotta get back. How do I get back? Operation Poltoy. Howdy, partner! Gotcha! My name's Woody. You're my favorite deputy. Yeah, oh, okay, all right, okay, that, that, that is enough. What? No, 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 you can't go! There's a snake in my boot! Well, unfortunately, he doesn't say anything new from what we heard after they took out the forky lines. They did leave some of the, you know, like Operation Pull Toy, they left those things in there, which isn't bad, but it's also not the best, if you ask me. But very interesting, nonetheless, to hear that nothing's changed. But I do appreciate that he says, you're my favorite deputy, I'm Sheriff Woody, and there's a snake in my boot, which I think are very important lines that Woody should have. And I think they nailed it there for, you know, authentically having a Woody, I think it's great. I wish it would have had the line, somebody's poisoned the water hole. My personal opinion would have been better because one of my favorite lines. But let's put the hat on. I noticed that you kind of have to squish it down pretty good to get it on there. But once you have it on there, it looks pretty great. And really nice color on the browns overall. I think it looks awesome. And if you're looking for a new Disney Store Woody tad to your collection, this is the right one to get. I love that the skin tone is a little lighter, looks more movie accurate to me, the rosy cheeks are great. You just have to fight quality control. When you are shopping for him, you have to make sure you find the best one because there's a lot of quality control issues with the torso being crooked looking, the face, you know, missing paint apps here in the mouth, or the rosy cheeks not as rosy. So you're gonna have to, you know, look at the eyes as well. Some of them are looking to the side more, darker, lighter colors. So pay attention to that when you're shopping for your Disney Store Woody and a happy toy hunting. They should be available online, but I haven't tested that out yet because they could have old stock still, and I'm finding that in some Disney stores. But right now at Anaheim Disneyland, you can definitely find them because that's where I found mine. And for fun, here's my stunt Woody that I have here. I will be putting a Divine Child voice box in him soon because I do have an extra one that I saved and tucked away for the future. So I will be using that for this one. I'm not gonna mod this at all because I have a Disney Store Woody that I have modified myself. I love that this one had the JCPenney yellow spurs on it. Also, I custom painted the buckle, although I may change the color because I don't really like that yellow. But, you know, it's cool and it's interesting to see the differences in how far these Woody mods can go and look like from old to new Disney Store with the Huggable plush here by Thinkway Toys. Another interesting thing to note is that it's funny to see how dark the eyebrows are on the new 2024 Woody. They're like more of a black color. Although if you look up close, it's just a very, very, very dark brown. But much improved though, I really like this face a lot. There you have it, a look at my brand new 2024 Disney Store Woody Edition. Really love this one. In the future, I may swap the body out for one that has better you know, buttons straight on the line. I will say it was very hard to choose one because they're all different in their own way. And I wanted to find the best one but it either had a great body and a bad face or a good face and a bad body. So this one was the closest that I could get. So in the future, I may do a head swap for a better body because I want it to be more in line with those buttons. But, you know, I'm not gonna be that picky. We'll see if I find a better one in the future. Well, partners, I hope you enjoyed my 2024 Disney Store Woody review. I had fun reviewing it for you. It's really cool. I love it. I'm gonna keep it as is. This is great. It's just gonna sit on my shelf and I'm gonna look at it and admire it. And I hope in the future we get toy mode or something a little bit better for Toy Story 5. For now, it's great. For 35 bucks, you can't beat it. It's great Woody. It's still fun and it's playable or collectible. 
do whatever you wish, but I think it's awesome. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this new Disney Store 2024 Woody? As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me in this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, see you later for your future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.